I sit down. The problem is that's yes, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my name is Jewel Cunningham. I'm the director of Ontario Waterways uh, with Parks Canada. It's, so it's my pleasure now to introduce to you Mr. Gord Brown, the member of Parliament for Leeds Grenville. This remarkable lock station reminds us that the Rideau Canal is truly an engineering marvel that stands as a testament to the innovation and craftsmanship required during its construction over 181 years ago. Each of the Rideau Canal's 47 locks are examples of Canada's cultural heritage and speak of the canal's important contribution to our history and to tourism as a viable economic industry here in eastern Ontario. The Rideau Canal was originally intended as a military supply route. It is now a recreational waterway welcoming visitors from near and far and the economic lifeline for the communities along it. Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, just a few days ago, uh, Minister Kent announced that Parks Canada will freeze blockage fees along the Rideau Canal for three years at 2008 levels. This is good news indeed, especially during that time Parks Canada will work as well with members of Parliament, community leaders, and the tourism industry on an improved operating model to ensure the financial sustainability of the Rideau Canal. As you may know, Parks Canada is responsible for a tremendous number of important natural and historic treasures that it protects and preserves on our behalf and, the, and for the benefit of future generations. The Regal Canal has become a world-class destination as Ontario's only UNESCO World Heritage Site. So today I'm pleased to announce an investment of $1.1 million in the restoration of heritage assets at the Regal Canal's Jones Falls and Shady's Locks block stations. The Canadian, <laughs> the Canadian government is committed to the future sustainability of historic canals and the communities along it. By investing in the infrastructure of Canada's historic waterways, our government is helping to preserve and protect these treasured places, symbols of our country, and tangible connections to our heritage. The projects just completed at Jones Falls and its shape these lock stations not only provided jobs and stimulated local economies, they will help increase tourism through improved visitor experience this summer and for many summers to come. Here at Jones Falls, the lock station, the right wall of Lock 40 was repaired. The project involved a range of excavation, drilling, routing, and masonry work, and actually marked the first time that the outside of the wall had been seen since before the Rio Canal opened in 1832. So let me repeat that. It was the first time that the outside of the wall had been seen before the Rio Canal opened in 1832. And that's remarkable and speaks to the fine engineering and workmanship that went into the building of this canal. Chafee's Lock Station, a short 10 kilometer boat ride away, underwent masonry repairs in addition to the reconstruction of sluice gates and their frames. These two projects were identified as priorities in the canal asset management plan. Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, millions of people live within a few hours' drive of the canal. These investments will stimulate tourism in our region and help bring Eastern Ontario to the forefront of the minds of travelers both here and abroad while working to ensure that the Rideau Canal is protected for future generations to enjoy. I also uh, want to take a few uh, moments for a couple of other comments. Uh, just uh, a few moments ago, I had the opportunity to meet with Peter Al, the chair of the Rideau Roundtable, and Emmanuel Stevens. As a result uh, of my consultations along the Rio last summer, I determined that uh, more consultations had to take place so that we can collectively take better advantage of the UNESCO World Heritage Site designation on the canal. Uh, and as well, I know that uh, Anne-Marie Harbeck has worked so hard with the Rio Heritage Route, and uh, we, we hope to uh, work closely with all of the groups uh, to, to look at this uh, opportunity that we now have to, uh, to deal with the canal and, and to see how we can leverage this wonderful historic asset. So, so much has been accomplished over the last number of years with organizations such as the Rito Roundtable and the Rito Heritage Group, Friends of the Rito and others. We've all been working to enhance the promise and stature of the Rito as a modern, world-class heritage destination and we want to complement that. Uh, 
through those consultations that uh, we held last summer, I determined that there was more that can be accomplished and that I, as the Member of Parliament for Leeds and Granville and the Government through the Ministry and Parks Canada can do more to help all of this along. Uh, the announcement this week uh, by Minister Kent at the urging of myself and my colleagues along the Trent Severn uh, waterway has opened the door for further uh, discussions and uh, action going to, to, to further those consultations. So I support these further consultations on the Rideau uh, in this direction and will do everything that I can do to ensure that communities, businesses and, and residents along the canal can continue to get the best possible results from this and other designations. And so finally, so thank you to all of you for coming out uh, today. I look forward to working with all of you as we do everything we can to ensure the long-term preservation and the economic viability of the year. So thank you very much. The opportunity to join us and, and go look at the work that's taken place and uh, invite you to take photos. We'll be available and uh, asking you to discuss more with us.